Hey, what's up, Jacob? Hey, man, I hope I'm entertaining. I think just about anything's inter uh, more entertaining than what you're, uh, than what you're talking about. <laughs> if you're talking about Raw. <clears throat> so, um, let's see, I'm going to get my pencil color started here. Zoom in some. So I'm going to draw like a um, Looney Tunes uh, type deal. It's going to be Sylvester. It's going to be Sylvester eating Tweety. <laughs> he's not actually eating them yet, but he's like about to. He's like on the table. He's finally, finally won against Tweety. Um, it's kind of similar in the same vein of what I did, uh, I did last year. I did a, uh, I did a Gargamel eating like one of the Smurfs, like he finally killed him and ate him. And, uh, my, uh, one of my good friends on here that purchases a lot of art off of me, Amber, she uh, had this idea, and I was like, you know, it's so funny. I got to do it. I'll, so I was like, I'll sketch it out on a live, and um, I'll sketch it out on my tablet first, and then I'll ink it and color it on a on another live. Cool. So I guess I'll go ahead and get started on it, and um, I'm thinking. With Sylvester, what I'll do is, with this, is I don't know if I'm going to have him, I don't know if I'm going to have him, like, at a round table or a, uh, kind of like a small table. I was trying to look at some old cartoons of him just to see. I definitely want to put, like, a napkin around his, uh, around his neck, you know kind of using it as a, you know, a bib, basically, with the craziness with the Looney Tunes lately. Yeah, man, it's uh, got a lot of controversy right now. Um, I figure if we're arguing about cartoons now, I figure things are a little better than they were a year or two ago, in my opinion, if that's what we're arguing about now. So I'll take uh, people arguing about cartoons. Sylvester Cat. Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'll have him sitting. Um, I'm thinking at a table that goes kind of like this direction. And I might shift this around. That's why I like using the tablet too, because you can move things around. Hi, Amber. Thanks for tuning in. This is your, this is uh, your drawing actually that I'm working on. Um, I'm trying to, I might change it up a little bit though, as I go. Um, it's definitely going to be funny. I know that much. I like Sylvester with that expression on his face where he's a uh, it's kind of like that evil grin, you know. So I'm going to shrink the head some because his head was kind of small for his body. And then I'm going to have him. Uh, I'm going to have him kind of hunched over. And actually, I'm going to cut that and put it in another layer. Whoops. Speaking of Sylvester, 
Yeah, I remember those too, Paul. The the where he faced uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Those were good too. I drew a really cool Speedy Gonzalez. I mentioned it on the last live. I'll have to pull it up and show it to you guys. It came out really well. It got um, purchased immediately. Well, not immediately, but it got purchased on the first time I displayed it at a show. So that was pretty cool. All right. So Sylvester's shoulders are pretty much like where his, he has no neck basically. He really doesn't. He does like zero neck. Actually, I just want to delete all that and then overlap it. You went for a walk today. Okay. Started new med for... Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't... Hello. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get this wrong, but I'm hoping this is uh, I have somebody on Twitch, and I'm hoping it's uh, Trey or Sophia. If they said Mr. Ryan, I know that I think it's one of my old uh, summer camp kids watching. I could be wrong though. I don't remember you guys' user handle on Twitch. Sophia, yay! I did get it right. Cool. Thanks for tuning in, Sophia. I'm drawing Sylvester Cat finally eating Tweety Bird, so this might make you laugh. Well, I hope those me uh, I hope the medicine um, I hope the medicine helps you out, Amber. I, that doesn't sound good that it's making you sleepy. I think that's what the whole purpose is: is to not have you uh, get sleepy from it. I think he had, I don't know if he had a son, but I, I know he had a little version of himself that kind of like in the later ones. All right, so I'm going to, and you guys will have to bear with me because I've never drawn him before, so it's kind of new. I know he has a big, he has a big red nose. And then he has the, here I'm going to zoom in some so you guys can see it a little better. Well, I'm so glad you're on here, Sophia. Hope you guys are doing okay. And I'm going to put my other, um, my other places you can follow me besides Twitch, you can check me out on Instagram and um, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube, Twitter, all that good stuff. So if you're able to go on other places, you can check out my work on there too. I always love uh, new followers on every platform. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going out. Yes, Amber, you get the first uh, Sylvester. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to hear your dad's not, uh, doesn't have COVID. That's good. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah, that's good news. I always like hearing good news from everybody that I know, so that's good. I'm glad to hear that. That makes me happy. We don't, I know too many people have gotten really sick off that stuff. And, uh, it's not anything I don't I don't want to get. All right, so that lip's a little too big. Kind of want his tongue sticking out. I think that'd be funny. So yeah, those are all the places you can follow me. If you got that info down, if you need to check back later, ask me any other questions. I'm always 
open for questions. Okay, so now I'm just kind of doing the the tufts of hair on the sides here. I'm debating on if I want his tongue out or not. I don't know. I think I made his mouth too wide open there, so I'm going to lower it some. Let's see, is, why is Raven like a writing desk, red or green? Hmm, good question. I don't know. I don't know why a raven is like a writing desk. I'm sure it's going to be a pretty good pun here in a minute. Trying to get rid of Speedy Gonzalez friends. Yeah, I know in the, about like 15, 20 years ago, there was a big uh, movement to get rid of Speedy Gonzalez. They kind of did actually for a little while, and then they brought him back. Um, there's a, uh, I mentioned it last time, I think on the live, but I'm, I'm friends with an actual, I'm, I'm Facebook friends. I'm not friend friends, but I'm friend Facebook friends with an actual, uh, Looney Tunes artist. And, uh, he had a really good post about it. You know, he was, uh, talking about how he's, he's worked on Looney Tunes now for almost 20 years. And uh, he was saying that uh, they have things that come and go on, with Warner Brothers. Like they couldn't use guns, and then they brought them back, and and uh, and back and forth, just kind of vice versa. So they kind of change things up every now and then. Draw bog and chog in the Hannah. Bar Barra style, please. By the way, they're basically Bill and Scooter from. I will. Uh, I'll have to look that up sometime. Um, Fox Pixar Media. I will look that up. Thanks for uh, sending me that recommendation. And Amber saying Amber on YouTube is saying she hates the new Speedy Gonzales. You know, I haven't really uh, myself. I haven't really kept track of any of the new stuff per se. Um, I did see the, uh, the HBO ones a little bit. They're, they were pretty good. Um, to me, nothing beats the originals though. There's just nothing that comes close. I haven't seen it yet in my opinion. I was talking about a cartoon. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I, I've never seen that one um, before. Like I said, I'm not real too, I'm not too uh, uh, privy on any of the newer stuff. I'm kind of a, kind of a nerd when it comes to that. I'm kind of like a purist, I guess you'd say.
Excuse me. And then he has like, I think like two tufts of hair. This might not be coming out too good. We'll see. I might have to tweak it up. We'll see. Fabian Cerna. Oh, he must have tagged somebody in. I don't like how they're going to change many things thanks to Looney Tunes. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Sophia. Yeah, there's a lot of things that uh, change. Um, I don't know what to think about all of it. I know a lot of people are really upset about it and um, passionate about it. Um, I'm, I'm sad to see certain things go. Um, one thing I do know is that um, over time, things end up changing. I mean, if you think about it, I mean, what my grandfather might have been into in the 1930s is probably not popular anymore. You know, just things kind of come and go, and it, it's just part of getting older. Um, they don't even really, they haven't even really shown Looney Tunes on TV Um how, how we grew up with it. Like when, when I, my age group, we'd come home off, I don't know about other people, but we'd come off the school bus and they'd have them on, you know? So things change. It's just part of, that's one thing that stays the same is the one constant in life is that nothing stays the same. Um, whether we like it or not, I try to, I, I try not to get worked up about stuff too much, especially stuff that in the grand scheme of things doesn't matter, I guess, but it matters to people, I guess. I can't say that either. All right, I'm going to put a layer of ink over it because I'm not liking this too much. Yeah, Boomerang. Yeah, they keep them on Boomerang. I know on Boomerang, um, I had Boomerang for a while, the, the subscription service. And even on Boomerang, they didn't show everything um, on there. Hang on, my pen's acting a little wacky. Um, yeah, we uh, ended up getting Disney, but the thing with Boomerang, that uh, they, they didn't show everything either. It's like they kind of cut out certain things or just episodes entirely. I guess, and I, I get it. Some of them were kind of racially insensitive and things like that, so whatever. I mean, things change, but uh, yeah, it's just really weird to not have them. They were kind of like, uh, the, these cartoons were a big part of, you know, I guess American culture, if you want to get technical about it. Okay, I might shift his nose down some on here. What? I can't. Hang on. Wait. Okay, Maddie, Maddie's telling me something, but I can't really hear her that well. No, I'm not liking that. I'm going to keep it how I was doing it.
There we go. Hey, Jason, just saw your message. Sylvester James Pussycat Jr. often shortened to Sylvester Jr. Okay, so he did have a son. On Me TV, they're showing Looney Tunes in the mornings. It's called Show Tune with Me Saturday. Okay, so it's like morning, kind of like old school Saturday morning cartoons, basically. That's cool. I think I saw a post about that, actually. That seems pretty cool. There we go. Kind of starting to look like them a little more now. Feel free to let me know what you guys think. Looking good, burr. <laughs> I miss Saturday morning cartoon. I know. I I miss I miss that. That was fun. I'm so glad we grew up when we did. That that was always a fun fun time for me. I was just in heaven. I was like, oh my goodness, all these cool cartoons. And they just, they would always have like this solid lineup on TV, just, just one after the other. You'd get the Looney Tunes, you get the newer stuff. It was just a fun time. Thanks, Amber. Glad you like it. I miss going to Comic Cons. Oh, Sophia, so do I. I miss that too. I love when you guys would come over to my table. That was always cool. You guys, we'd always end up seeing the same wrestlers. That was really cool. We'd, uh, you know, you guys would see a wrestler. And I'm like, hey, I saw the same one as you guys. So yeah, it was. I miss it. I miss it a bunch. I'm hoping maybe sometime later this year. I'm hearing that Comic Palooza might be doing something in July, which I might, I might end up doing. I don't know yet. I'm on the fence about it. I just don't know yet. But uh, we'll see. I, I think the first big one back, where it's kind of like normal, like, is gonna just just be explosive. I think it's gonna be a fun time for everybody. So keeping my fingers crossed. Cause I miss it. I really do. I miss it a lot. Even the even the bad shows where nothing was going on, I, I just kind of miss it. Man, I don't know who'd be faster. Roadrunner is always about that speed, so I'd say Roadrunner maybe. You don't know if you might too miss it. So yeah, I miss it. I I do. I I really do. You're not alone. I definitely miss it. I miss going to wrestling shows and things like that. All right. I 
think I made his bump too high. I'm gonna lower it down just a tad. Bog and Chog are basically Scooter and Bill, but they wear shorts. I okay, cool. I will um I will look up Scooter and Bill and all that stuff and I'll try to do that on a on a the live after next. I'll keep that in mind. For sure. That's a good request. I like obscure ones like that. Definitely do. You know, I liked it the way I had it. There we go. Just leave it alone. Will that drawing you did of Gino be for sale somewhere? Um, I don't plan on it, but um, what I can do, dude, is I'll just print it out for you. Um, cause I don't, I don't plan on making a print out of that or anything. Um, I'll print it out for you and just throw it in the the thing I'm mailing out to you when I mail it out. Um, that way you'll have it, cause I know you see him at at uh, ROW shows and everything else. Stop trying to fix perfect. I can't help it. <laughs> That's why I uh, take forever when I do work. Because like the initial phase, I'm like, oh, I don't like the way that looked. So I, um, I know it's probably like sometimes like, oh my God, this guy can't stop. There we go. Boom. Better. Have you done Toothless the Dragon yet or Bolt the Dog? I have not. I need to do those. Those, those are good requests. I have not done those characters, Sophia. I'll, I'll have to do that. There we go. It looks kind of like Sylvester, doesn't it? I don't know. What do you guys think? Okay. Just making sure. Because if not, I was just going to delete the whole thing. I'm playing. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, uh, Paul, that's cool, dude. I'll print it out for you, dude, since you bought so much stuff off of me. I'll just print it out for you. I'll do it like an 8 by 10 if that's cool. Um. And let me know if it's cool to leave the, uh, well, I have it on there. Yeah, I saved it permanently. I, I did the Lucha Maniacs logos, but they're very small. But it has Gino's name on it and stuff, so it's cool. I think he'll dig it. He's, he's a very cool guy. He's very nice. Super talented, too. He uh, was recently out with... Uh, Hijo del Santo. That was pretty pretty awesome. I need to make this part longer. It's too too little. About right there. There we go. That's better. He's got those long uh those long tufts of hair on the sides. There we 
There we go. Cool. Now I'll finish sketching what I was doing with the body here. Let me hit save. I haven't even done that yet. Let's see. I'm trying to think of what folder to save it under here. While I'm doing that, I'll have my little scroller. Let me see what folder am I saving this under? Oh, that's my wrestling work stuff. <laughs> All right, so I get a lot of pictures from the Lucha Maniacs guy to work off of. Okay, so trying to find a folder. I have an Amber folder. That's how many things you've bought off of me, Amber. Um, I'll put Sylvester down. Okay, saved it. Sweet. Ne these need their own folder, the bad guys folder. You are correct. <laughs> and yes, you have your own folder. A couple of you on here have your own folders. Uh, Paul has his own folder on my computer. The repeat, repeat buyers have their own folders. Can't line this up right. There we go. And of course, I was inking on the wrong layer. So that's my fault, but it's okay. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do. He looks ready to eat, and you can see all the frustrations coming out. Yeah, well, this time he's finally won. And actually, you know what? I'm going to shift him over some just because I want to have his arms more out and I want to have Tweety Bird on a plate around down, down here. So...
and then I'm going to have his tail going about right here. Yeah, that'll work. <clears throat> now for the big the big uh, fists here. Always love the Looney Tunes hands. He had the big the big white paws and Bugs had the big gloves on. Your ball python is speaking in his water dish. See, I'd be terrified if that was me. You're very brave. Oh, I got a phone call coming in, but I have to take it when I'm done. Cool. So then, um, okay, good. I did do that on the right layer. I was a little nervous, a little nervous. Okay. So now I'm going to go over here to the plate. I'll do it on, I'll do the plate about right here. And then in the middle is going to be Tweety Bird. He loved the knife in his hand. <laughs> yeah. The tools of the trade. He finally won. All right, so now I'm debating on um, how to have Tweety Bird... Um, I don't know if I should have him like, like laying on his stomach or, you know, it'd be, I don't know if I should have him. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking maybe kind of like a Thanksgiving bird or something. Let me see. The only thing that's weird about Tweety Bird or his, is his uh, feet are gigantic. So he has like this big head, a tiny little body. Um, he has a big head, tiny little body, and little little arms. Uh, Tweety Bird, he was always so annoying to me. Um, so this is kind of funny.
So I'm wondering, um, I'll leave the feathers on them. I guess that'd just be weird to not draw them. So I'm going to play around with this and see what I can come up with. You like the turkey idea. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for tuning in. Do you like to draw in the Looney Tune style? Yes, I do. That's a huge influence on me. <laughs> I like Amber's idea. It's hilarious. She said a naked, headless chicken with a single yellow tail feather. That's hilarious. So you already know who it is. Oh, I like that idea. We're going to go with that. Oops. We're going to go with that. Amber, Amber, that you have a crazy mind like me. All right, so yeah, if that's the case, we're going to have a little tiny body. Oh, that's so funny. Look at this little body. And then the, look, the little neck, the little neck area. laughing just because of how I how I'm picturing this in my head it's so funny I'm gonna give him like a little stubble too on his back end actually he didn't really have much meat on his legs Is there going to be any yellow color? Just the tail is going to be yellow. I think that's a hilarious idea. wonder if I should tilt his legs up more. And then what I could do... I wonder if I should leave his feet. What do you guys think? Or should I put those little covers like they do on those fancy things? Like on fancy. Would it be funny like that? Or should I put the feet on it? My dad would laugh at this. And I need to shrink it down some. Oh, I got some new messages. Leave the feet. Okay, I'm going to leave the feet then. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is, um, this is Amber's piece, so what she says goes. <laughs> um, so since I'm doing the feet, I might kick his, I might have his legs like right there, and then his legs kind of pointing up, and then, oops. His legs pointing up, and then, um, yeah, and then that way we have room for his feet, because he had big old feet. <laughs> and then the tail feather, that's right. Okay, cool. So, man, he got, he finally got it. Let 
All right, I'm going to shrink him down just a tad because he was always small. Do it about like maybe that much. And then what I'll do. Yeah, those feet are iconic. They're so big. Okay, now since I had originally drawn the whiskers on the wrong wear, I'm kind of lighting it up and I'm going to redraw them again. Oops, but not in blue ink though. I might have to make a digital piece of this too. I think that'd be pretty funny. This is so funny to me. Bad guy series digital prints. Yeah, never know. But what's cool is Amber will have the original piece, the actual hand drawn one. If I do that, I don't know. I might just make this an exclusive thing on. Um, my lives only. Actually, I'm going to make that one. Oh my goodness. I have a neighbor with a car alarm going off and it's really annoying. Okay, cool. And let me hit save, because that's probably a good thing to do. Oh, yeah, bid. Thanks, Dave. I totally forgot about the bid. Yeah, I mentioned that at the beginning. He has to have a bid. It's too funny if he doesn't. So, yeah, I'm going to draw on another layer, though. And um, I don't know if I'm going to have a loose-fitting one. Let's see. Um, about right there, maybe. Yeah, good call on that. I forgot about that. And then what I'll do is have the... Um, Nah, I don't want that. Leave that alone. Okay, cool. And then I'll erase these two little deals here. Email sent. It's about the D-O-H characters. Okay, sounds good. 
poor Sylvester. He finally gets Tweety, and it's a morsel. You are correct. I never knew why he went after Tweety. I guess because it was just Tweety was there. Good little snack, I guess. But yeah, he's tiny. There, there's the bib. Okay, cool. And then um, about right here. Have that tail. He always had like such a thick tail. Sylvester and, or wait, Speedy and Roadrunner trying to Find out who's the fastest. Yeah, that'd be a, a good one. Hang on one second, guys. Uh, sure. Thank you. It's in his jeans. You're correct, Amber. <laughs> I agree with that statement. All right, cool. Well, this is the first time I've ever drawn Sylvester, so it's like not completely accurate, but I think you guys get the picture who he is. You guys get it. Oh, thanks for turning the porch on. He's going to be getting over here soon. Thank you. Yeah, I will. All right, so now I'm just going to do these hands and the knives and then Tweety. And then what I'll do is on my next live, uh, I'll color it by hand. I'll, I'll print it out and get it colored by hand. And I'll ink it with thicker, cool brush pen lines. It'll look really nice. I don't like that thumb. Let's see. There we go. That's better. It's coming out of mate. Thank you, Amber. Glad you like it. It makes me happy. I love doing this stuff. I, I, uh, I like this stuff because it's kind of like a, a break from the regular, I shouldn't say mundane art that I do. But when I do a series of like, let's say like lately I hear I've been doing a lot of wrestling art. And I love wrestling. I love the art. But I like doing different things. I like taking a break and doing different things because then I get burnt out. So this is always a fun little break from the the uh, regular stuff I'm doing. Yeah, I like that knife. <laughs>
Sophia, if you're still on, tell your family I said hello. I forgot to tell you that. On this to too big, still too big. There we go, about like that. Yeah, that's good. And okay, now time for the other utensil here. Maybe have Speedy and Roadrunner just going fast. <laughs> Maybe so. I'll try to get around to that sometime or another. What is the dog's name? Gray Bulldog. Hi, Mark. How you doing? Here's the uh, the man behind it all on my live, Mr. Mr. Mark Kistler, stopping in on my live. That's nice. He uh. He is a really good friend of mine, and we live not too far from each other. And before COVID, we'd see each other a lot more. We haven't seen each other since sometime early last year, I think it was, when all this madness hit. So it's been a while. Mario is home now. That's good news. I'm glad to hear that. I spoke to him on the phone a while back when he was still not able to get home so that's that's good to hear tell mario i said hello he wants to play jenga <laughs> yes we do too we do too we miss it it's fun let's see fox pixar media on my twitch stream says what do you think of those characters and you'll have to forgive me. I gotta scroll up and see what you're talking about. The deep. Um, I'll look at your email and see what you were talking about. I'm not too familiar with what you were uh, what you were describing, so I'll have to look that up and kind of do the do the research on it, you know. But yeah, that sounds like a fun thing to do on a Twitch, you know, like some old school Hanna Barbera characters. Mr. Mark, if you're still on, Amber on YouTube says hello. I don't know if you could see that. Have I ever told you all the story of how uh, Mark and I got to become friends? I've told it like a million times, but I don't care. It's like a pretty cool story. For me, it is. Amber, Mark says hello. I don't know if you can see each other's messages. Okay, cool. So that's done. All right, now for the nasty part. Here we go. This is going to be some rough stuff. Might lower the ink level here. <laughs> His neck's too big. I need to make it smaller. See about maybe like that. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Poor Tweety. Tell it again. Okay, yeah, so this, the way uh, Mark and I met, um, I think, 
I don't know what year it was, but when I was still kind of new on Facebook, I saw a I saw a, I don't know how I stumbled upon him, but I saw a Mark Kissler on Facebook, and I was like Mark Kissler, and then I looked, and I'm like, oh my goodness, that's that's Commander Mark. I was like, that's crazy. So I friended him, and he friend he accepted my friend request, and that was like. I don't know, like probably like 10, 11 years ago. And we kind of left it at that. I didn't think much of it. And then uh, I think like five years later, just out of the blue one day, I got a message from Mr. Mark asking if we wanted to meet up sometime that he does some local shows and, um, you know, maybe I could meet him. At, I forgot what show he was doing. But he, he saw my uh, my page and he wanted to meet up and see if we wanted to collaborate and stuff. And uh, I had just finished publishing my first uh, How to Draw book. So I took it with me to the, to the show he was at. And uh, he really liked those books. He thought that was really cool. And it made me happy because, you know, I had never published my own book before and I didn't know what I was doing. I was a little nervous about it. So I showed him, he really thought it was cool. And we've been, ever since then, we've always been hanging out and talking to each other and I'd go to his Christmas parties and it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I would have never imagined as a little, little dude watching his show when I was trying to keep up with him drawing space stations and all kinds of cool unibears and all that stuff that I'd be hanging out with them. So it's pretty cool. Pretty neat story. Jerry, what's up, my man? Yeah, Commander Mark is in the house. And guys, I might be having to get off of this this live. I got a, a representative from Loco Wrestling coming up here to uh, do some business with me. So um, I'm gonna get off this live. <laughs> Sorry for the for the interruption, guys. But um, I might come back on in a little bit. If that's cool. 